First, I'm starting off with the Benefit Ultra Radiance Rehydrating Mist to prep my skin. Then I'm going to use the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation in the shade Nude 40. It is a good drugstore foundation. It's very full coverage. It does last throughout the day. Um, I feel like it does not make me oily or anything like that. It actually controls my oils. It does smooth out fine lines and pores as well. You just want to make sure that you buff this all over the face and down the neck as well so that your face and your neck blends together. Taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and applying that all over to the lid for a good base for my eyeshadows. And with this found, with this base, I have found that it is best not to set the cream with a powder because the eyeshadows can get a little splotchy. Now going into my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette, I'm taking Anaheim and Zone. And I'm just going to mix those together and then blend them into the crease. While you're doing this step, make sure you apply a layer of color, blend it out really well, and then apply more because you don't want to put down too much color at one time. It will be harder for you to blend out. And peach smoothie from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to blend this all over the lid and crease area to help to further blend those eyeshadows. Now by Makeup Geek, I'm taking Cocoa Bear and adding that in the outer corner and the crease of the eye just to further deepen the crease and add more of a brick brown shade to warm up the look. Always remember to blend, blend, and blend. I'm using Punk from the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette and applying that to the outer corner of the eye to add more definition and create dimension. The trick to a great smoky eye is layering colors down and making sure you blend them out very well. Now taking Bitten from Makeup Geek, I'm just applying that all over the crease area to make it more smoky and blend it out as well as darken the crease. Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending everything together and making sure there's no harsh lines. Using Sexy from the, the Balm Nude 2 palette, I'm adding this into the outer corner of the eye and blending it into the crease to add more definition. Always blending out as I go. Now from the original Naked palette from Urban Decay, I'm using Buck to blend everything together and soften up the crease towards the brow bone. You want to make sure it's a nice gradient effect and not just a straight line with dark color and then a really light shade underneath the brow bone. Now using Ice Queen for Makeup Geek, I'm just going to highlight the brow bone and kind of blend that into that buck shade. 
using the Too Faced glitter glue I'm gonna pack that down on my Alia just kind of in the inner corner towards the middle of the eye so that I can lay down my pigment and you're, you want to do this whenever you're using pigment so that the eyeshadows will stick. And this is Insomnia by Makeup Geek is one of my favorites. It's really comparable to MAC um, Blue Brown Pigment. And here I'm just kind of carving out to give more of a cut crease look. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk to put down a good base for my inner corner highlight shade. I first used the Frostbite eyeshadow by NYX Cosmetics, but I did not like how it had like that more purpley look to it. So then I went over it with Makeup Geek Ice Queen, the same shade that we used to highlight the brow bone. Now I'm just highlighting my face using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. Blending that out with a damp beauty blender. Now taking the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Light, I'm using that darker contour shade to sculpt out my face. This part takes a little patience because the contour is a little hard to blend out. So make sure you use sort of a damp, not too damp, but you want it to be kind of in between damp and dry. That way it does not soak up the product and you just want to keep blending it out. However, you do not want to blend it out all the way because you do want to keep that structure there and when you apply your powder contour or bronzer over it it will help to soften the line a little bit now just using my hello flawless powder I'm just gonna set everything that way all of my powder bronzer will blend out more smooth I'm so excited about this brush. This is the Sigma F05 contouring brush. I am so glad I got it. It is like the best thing ever. Literally, look how sharp my contour is. Like, look at it. I'm in love with this brush. It blends out the contour perfectly. It gives you that structured line. And it looks awesome.
Don't forget to blend a little bit of that bronzer down your neck to blend everything together. Make that nose straight, girl. I love this blush. It is the MAC Melba, and it's like the most perfect curly color. I'm going to do a video soon on my full brow routine. I just picked up this eyeliner from Ulta. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Liner. I don't usually use eyeliners like this. I usually use like the liquid with the little paintbrush type thingy or gel. So this is kind of new to me. Um, but it's super hard to record on camera because I have to get really close to the mirror. I did really end up liking this eyeliner. It didn't smudge or come off throughout the day. For this, I am doing a really thick, dramatic eyeliner, but you could go more simple or just skip it. So I'm just going to finish my other eye off of camera. Now I'm just adding a black eyeshadow to the outer crease of the eye just to kind of darken it up a little bit and blend it in with that eyeliner we put on. Using Pink Smoothie again, I'm just going to blend that onto the lower lash line. Taking Sultry from the Nude 2 palette, I'm just going to blend that over the Peach Smoothie color. I'm using the new 2 palette again with the same sexy color and applying that over the last two shades we put down. I want the bottom lash line to be super smoky and smudged out so I'm going over with a bunch of different shades like we did on the crease. Now just adding a black and smoking it out even more. I'm using the Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer. This stuff is awesome. Um, I wish I would have gotten a better clip, but this is it. And then I just paired that with the Roller Lash. These are my favorite. Go to all the time mascara. And I've never used a primer before, so this primer is awesome. And I love that it's brown instead of white so that I can wear it by itself if I don't feel like putting on mascara or I want to be more natural. I like to coat both the front and back of my lashes. That way I get a whole bunch of product because I like to build those bad boys up. Now I'm using the Stila Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carmelo. 
So this is it for the look. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video.